Let's see how this thing grinds. We got a new wheel on here. It's a, it's a good bit bigger. I'll put this stuff on and uh, run some rebar through it and see what it does. It's a, a Grizzly 36 grit. Got my gaps set. At first, didn't fit. Because there was all this uh, old wheel material built up right at the uh, outlet here for the vac system. Got a little worried because I actually didn't know what size wheel this was other than it's got a 13 inch diameter inside. But we'll see. No gloves. Get my face mask up. I'm pushing as hard as I can with one hand. Still smoking. I can't seem to slow it down at all. I wonder if I should do the fireball tool challenge and actually uh, measure it see how much it'll take off in a minute don't really want to heat the wheel up like that though but I don't know if, if that's something you can do safely on a stone grinder I know the uh, belt sandal sanders uh, it's not a problem but I don't know if I want to push as hard as I can for a minute straight This one here. You can see. That stone is, uh, it's a lot bigger. Let's give it another. Let's mark it. Okay. That's about an inch. Let's, uh, let's go 30 seconds. That was 30 seconds. Let's check. Well, maybe it's a little over an inch. I guesstimated. Either way, 
I think he did pretty good. Of course, then again, the fireball challenge was done with half-inch mild steel. And uh, I want to say rebar's not mild steel, but is slightly hardened. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll try, try the actual challenge later with a, a real half-inch steel, but... And the way this pad looks, it looks like it's okay to side grind. But uh, it is two inches in diameter, or width. It might be okay to side grind something that's two inches wide. And now that I know 12 inch will fit, I'll buy another 12 inch for this side. These wheels are 130 bucks a piece. So this one will be, uh, I think 100 grit was what I was looking at. Um, and it'll be the material, the green wheel, I think. So that I can do uh, high speed steel and potentially carbide. There we go. Two horsepower, three phase, 220, it's a Queen City, high duty, and made in Cincinnati, Ohio. Another wheel and a paint job. I'll be happy. <laughs>